Hi, I'm Clay Benson, and this is another episode of Ask a Developer. Our question today comes from Jose. He asks, what are some good tips and tricks and good rules of thumb for QA testing web applications? Really, this gets at a bigger issue that I'm going to go ahead and talk about, and that's what I call the abuse of the QA team. Um, and everybody knows what this is, and it, it's, it's on both sides of the fence. It doesn't matter if you're agile, and it doesn't matter if you're waterfall. What happens is developers develop, 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 and then they toss the code over the fence for QA to test. And that's the part that's easily fixed. You see, developers sit here and we code all day long and we test all day long. We test probably hundreds of times a day against the code we're building. And we have this knowledge that we're building up. Um, there's a great quote, um, if I can see further, it's by standing on the shoulders of giants. Um, put another way, I'm better at what I do because I learned from people who did it before me. And so why in the world aren't we sharing that knowledge between QA and dev? Why isn't dev sitting here and saying like, I have all this knowledge, why don't I transfer that to the QA department that's writing these test cases? And so that's really what I want to get at with these points, is point one, developers need to talk to the QA team. And it's not about, oh, well, I talk to them at standup, or I send an email, or I send an IM. It's like, physically move yourself from your desk as a developer over to their desk as a QA individual and have a conversation about the things you have learned as a result of building and testing your own code. And if you're not co-located, fire up a Google Hangout or, or hop on Skype. And if all of those fails, like pick up the phone and call them. Point two, do this more than once a day. And, and I get it, as developers, you're busy. Uh, we don't have time to do this more than once a day. You absolutely do have time to do this more than once a day because it's inevitably part of your job and it's going to pay off in the end if you share that knowledge. That's it for this Ask a Developer. If you have additional questions, please tweet at us at hashtag askadev or leave your questions in the comments.